But let's talk about the cricket. It looks like Zimbabwe Chevron's coach, that is Dave Houghton, uh, who had a very successful stint in the T20 qualifiers. So far. Uh, <laughs> negative people. No, I'm just saying so far, just yeah. a comment. Anyway, yeah. carry on. In any case, so he, he is actually having a little bit of a chat with some players that are eligible to play for Zimbabwe. One of them being Gary Balance. Uh, we remember Gary Balance from the Cavs T20 St. George's and yeah. uh, St. John's College Rams T20 tournament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we saw how good he was. He was picked up uh, by England, played a couple of tests, played a couple of ODIs, but just wasn't able to cement a play. So he's going to be there. Eddie Byram, he was looking to press for an Irish place. Mm -hmm. He does have an Irish passport. He's still legible to play for them. But I think Ireland right now are stacked with talent and I think it would be a wise move for him to come back. How important do you think this is from Dave Houghton to boost the side? Look, uh, you've mentioned Gary Balance, our very own Gary Balance, uh, playing for England. Obviously, along the way, uh, he got experience and he's used to uh, being in a high performance center of which that's what we need right now so that we can inspire the other youngsters. Uh, hopefully that the deal is going to fall through. But I know that it's going to be a tall order when it comes to Eddie Barrow. He's got an Irish passport. Maybe the back of his mind is thinking, yeah, maybe I'll just take my chances with the island because their cricket blueprint is actually better than where we are. I know that uh, the current coach, Dave Orton, came in just to, to fix up this mess, but is, is there long longevity in, in this deal? We just have to find out because, as you know, Zimbabwe cricket has been blowing hot and cold as far as the coaching appointment. Yeah. Uh, so it will be interesting to see. Uh, I would love to see uh, Byron. I would like to see also the other twin brother uh, of the current brothers. I would like to, I would like to see him in our squad. You know, I'm very, very positive that if the deal full falls through, those gentlemen are going to add um, a little bit of uh, you know advantage as far as our betting is concerned. Oh yeah, especially when it comes to the batting, we yeah. know that um, Eddie Byram is an opening batsman and we've had nightmares when it comes to opening partnerships. So if he is to come through and to add to some of the quality that we do generally have locally, I think the potential that the likes of uh, uh, Takudzwa Naishe, uh, Kaitano, um, well, here and there, Prince Masaure, we know what he can do, mm. particularly for the test side, Kevin Kasuza test side as well, mm. um, and Innocent Kaia, who's also being given a little bit of an opportunity in the side. Maybe that might uh, just help things. But is this the thing that we need to do? Uh, it seems like every time a coach comes on board, mm. whether it's rugby, whether it's cricket uh, and so on, we are tending to look outside. Are we not having confidence in the plans that uh, Zimbabwe Cricket have currently put in place to have a National Premier League, to have the Franchise League, have a lot of cricket being played both locally and internationally? I think Zimbabwe has a schedule right now all the way up until the end of September is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, from Bangladesh to uh, playing India on home turf, then going to Australia and then coming back uh, and having all that. So are we not just having confidence in our structures and being able to build our side locally look um not to put anyone on the spot but i think locally man the performances that we've seen even from the other guys that have international experience have been appalling mm. so it's better for us to look outside because we've got massive talent out there and we also need to come back and stop that leakage of us losing players to other nations so i think if those players are available, hopefully that those gentlemen are going to be available. If they come in and play for uh, Zimbabwe Chevrons, I'm pretty sure that they are going to add some value to it. But, but won't it be expensive though? I mean, when we brought Brendan Taylor and Kyle Jarvis back, they became the highest paid. Brendan Taylor at 25000 a month. Well, look, it's only <laughs> 25000 a month. But what? Mm -hmm. look at what they are bringing onto the squad. Mm -hmm. they, they look, mm -hmm. if we can have three or four decent batsmen, mm -hmm. And trust me, we can win maybe just 40% of, of the mm -hmm. matches. Mm -hmm. And trust me, that's something that we need because they just need to restore that confidence in us as fans 
as cricket brand is just we, we really miss that Zimbabwe that used to you know go down the wire with the likes of Australia the likes of uh, you know New Zealand the likes of you know England at some point we beat England at some point we beat South Africa back in 1999 World mm. Cup we just need that and we really miss that so hopefully that these gentlemen if they managed to come through our ranks, I mean, that would be something else. Oh yes, it will be. I would love to hear your comments around this one. Uh, do you think that may be adding to uh, the side from with foreign players and so on will help uh, the, the cause, will help the issue? Well, I guess we would love to hear your comments uh, coming through there.